Hello, I'm Steve Muddy, CEO of Volunteer Fairfax, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the 28th annual Fairfax County Volunteer Service Awards. As many of you know, the Volunteer Service Awards are usually held in April each year, a month where volunteers are celebrated across the country. But like many of you, we've had to cancel our in-person event due to the COVID-19 emergency. This left us wondering, how can we achieve our goal of honoring the volunteers that help build, shape, and improve our communities? After reaching out to stakeholders across the county, we decided that we needed to share this good news now, as the current situation has made all of us more aware of the importance of volunteerism. But before I share more details, I wanted to recognize our sponsors who have made this event possible. Our platinum sponsor is Deloitte, our gold supporter this year is the Sika Family Charitable Fund, and our silver supporters are Kaiser Permanente and Northwest Federal Credit Union. Thank you for supporting us in amplifying the good work of the committed volunteers we are honoring. While we were excited to celebrate volunteerism with all of you in person, we are embracing this opportunity to pivot to a virtual celebration. We released a virtual program recognizing over 160 nominees across 24 categories, including benchmark nominations, 13 competitive awards, and 10 community champions who were nominated by their county supervisors. We published profiles on each of the community champions, individuals who lead the way in making our community a better place. Finally, we're proud to announce the winners of our competitive award categories with you today. Anyone who has attended the Volunteer Service Awards knows that it's not only a time to celebrate the nominees and winners, but also a great opportunity for us to connect with one another. We too appreciate this aspect of the Volunteer Service Awards, and that's why we're excited to share with you virtual celebration boards where all can join together in recognizing this year's honorees. Following the links on this page, you'll be taken to a celebration board for each of the competitive award winners and the community champions. On these boards, friends, colleagues, fellow volunteers, and the general public can post a message of congratulations, whether that's with a picture, video, or a written message. The best part about these boards is that you'll also learn how volunteering has changed for each of these winners in the past few months during the COVID-19 crisis, and I'm certain you'll be moved by their good work. But before you go exploring these boards, there are a few special guests who I'd like to share some congratulatory words with this year's honorees. I'm pleased to turn this over to our board president, Ginger Bristow, and Fairfax County Board of Supervisors Chairman Jeff McKay. Hi, I'm Ginger Bristow, President of the Board of Volunteer of Fairfax. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of this year's Volunteer Service Awards winners. These individuals, families, and groups responded to disasters, comforted the ill, fed the hungry, furnished homes for the formerly homeless, assisted persons with different abilities, tutored students, raised money, recruited other volunteers, advocated, served on boards, hosted community events, and provided a huge variety of other invaluable services to our community. I'm incredibly inspired by the stories of these volunteers, and I know that you will be too. You can read about this year's winners on our website and in our virtual program. Speaking of virtual, thank you to Volunteer Fairfax staff for planning this event to honor volunteers, and then pivoting quickly when it became clear that COVID-19 would prevent us from holding our regular breakfast event in April. Steve and his team have been doing an excellent job of ensuring that our awardees get the recognition they deserve while continuing to bring you volunteer opportunities to meet the community's changing needs. I'd also like to thank the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors for their continuing support for understanding the value of volunteers, and for taking the time to recognize the people 
that help this community thrive. Finally, I'll leave you with this reflection. The volunteers we recognize through the Volunteer Service Awards have made a tremendous impact on their communities, and they realize that that impact goes both ways. Volunteering is as much a gift to the volunteer as it is to those they help. I'm proud to support an organization like Volunteer Fairfax that helps make those volunteer opportunities possible. Stay safe and healthy, and I hope to see you again in person soon. On behalf of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, I heartily congratulate the winners and community champions of the 2020 Volunteer Service Awards. The individuals, families, and groups honored this year demonstrate that people of all backgrounds and abilities are vital to enriching our civic life. During these very challenging, stressful, and difficult times, it is critical to celebrate the extraordinary achievements in volunteering of our winners and to be inspired by them for ways we too can be of service. It is clear from the continued efforts of these dedicated honorees, as well as the many nominees who were considered this year, that good always triumphs in the face of adversity and that action always triumphs in the face of indifference. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the spirit of volunteerism in our community that has been shown through this pandemic. Every day I hear inspiring stories of kindness and generosity. Whether it is someone picking up groceries for their neighbor who can't leave their home, or a group of residents who work together to donate masks to our first responders, Fairfax County has risen to the challenge. Through our time, talent, and resources, we are all equipped with gifts that can make a positive impact in our community. Again, I congratulate the winners and community champions for this year's Volunteer Service Awards and challenge each and every one of us to carry on their legacy of good work to our families, neighborhoods, community, and world. Stay well. Thank you, Ginger and Chairman McKay. We at Volunteer Fairfax want to thank our board, elected officials, partner agencies, sponsors, and individual volunteers for all that you do to promote volunteerism in our county. Over the past several months, we've, has, we've supported county government agencies and nonprofit partners who are on the front lines of responding to the current health crisis and will be there as the region transitions to a long period of recovery. While the pandemic has certainly brought challenges to our community, it has also demonstrated how caring we can be. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Our community has responded to this question. We've shown that we're better, stronger, and more resilient because of volunteerism. And now, I officially welcome you to explore this page, join us in congratulating this year's awardees, and prepare to be inspired. Stay well, everyone.